Welcome back to my countdown of the 15 worlds I would most like to see in Kingdom Hearts 3. This is long overdue, so let's get right back to it with number 8, The Princess and the Frog World. For an extra party member, you'd have Tiana, of course. For clothes change, seeing as both Tiana and Naveen are frogs throughout most of the film, it only makes sense that the two would be frogs for most part of the game, which means Sora, Donald, and Goofy would also change into animals. Sora would most likely be a frog like Tiana, and Donald and Goofy would change into different animals, which is weird because they're already animals. For main boss, you'd have Dr. Facilier. I can see this happening so clearly. We start off in the world with Sora, Donald, and Goofy as their regular selves. As they walk the streets of New Orleans, they run into some shadows they think might be heartless, but instead it turns out to be the Shadow Man himself, Dr. Facilier, who was looking for Prince Naveen. Sora, Donald, and Goofy tick him off, and he turns them into animals, too. Now able to talk to animals, they bump into the frogified Tiana and Naveen. They have to battle Facilier's Heartless and Facilier himself, and with the power of love and friendship, the spell is broken. Yay, cheesiness. This would be a fun world to explore because not only do you have the 1920s New Orleans as a backdrop, but also the Louisiana Bayou. I also think Dr. Facilier could be one of those hard bosses to defeat given his abilities in the film. Plus, you're a frog, pretty much making everything besides eating flies a challenge. As an extra little thing, I can see Ray the Firefly being a summon, unless he dies in the video game too. I can also see Mama Odie teaching Sora some magic too. Number 7, Monsters Inc. World. For an extra party member, if they take from Monsters Inc., Sully would be your party member. But if they base it on Monsters University, Mike would be your party member. Or they could switch it up and have both of them as a choice, or neither. I don't know, I don't make these games. Anyway, for a close change, I initially thought it would be cool to have Sora, Donald, and Goofy turn into monsters, but I think it would be even better for them to disguise as monsters, much like Boo does throughout Monsters, Inc. For main boss, depending on which movie they base it on, assuming it's Monsters, Inc., the main boss would be Water News, but I could also see an original boss too, especially if they base it off more of Monsters University. What wouldn't be fun about exploring a world full of fun, creative, and sometimes creepy monsters? Maybe they can even incorporate both films in the franchise by making Monsters University an explorable area. That would be fun. I can see Randall being one of those annoying bosses you have to fight multiple times, and I think it would be fun to help Sully and Mike look and care for Boo. I think the creators can get really, really creative with the monsters, and think of all the freaky looking heartless. Also, I think the world has a lot of minigame potential. Maybe a puzzle involving the doors, or a laugh-a-meter minigame. If they include Monsters University, maybe we can do some extra stuff like get special items for doing well on a test, or playing those campus games they do in the film. There's so much potential in this world, I can see them doing so much with it. Number 6, The Incredibles World. For an extra party member, Mr. Incredible. For an outfit change, they would be superheroes, duh. And for a main boss, you'd have Syndrome. I love this movie, and I think it would make for such an entertaining world to fight through and explore. It has that neat combination of being at parts futuristic and at parts vintage, as it mixes the futuristic inventions and gadgets of the superheroes with a distinct 1960s aesthetic. To be fair, it would be a bit redundant with the Big Hero 6 world, but this is my list from my own mind, and I can do what I want, okay? Okay, anyway. Wouldn't it be so cool seeing Sora, Donald, and Goofy not only dressed in superhero garb, but to have to go by aliases? Sora could be called the key master wait i just got the best idea donald can turn into dark winged duck you know you want it and goofy he can be something else sometimes i'm not so creative people maybe us as players can choose or make up sora's alias that would be fun too flying around beating up bad guys what's not to love about that this world could also totally be the world in which you learn how to glide i can even see some mini game potential involving dash violet and maybe even jack jack number five finding nemo world for an extra party member this depends on if this world is based more on the original finding nemo or the newly released finding dory so it would be marlin or dory respectively personally i'd prefer for Dory. What can Marlin do? Worry the Heartless to death? For a close change, Sora is totally gonna be a fish. What kind of fish, you ask? I don't know, but he will be a fish. As for Donald and Goofy, I guess it would be a cop-out for them to be the same creatures they were in Atlantica. Maybe they'll be fish too. Who knows? There's lots of fish in the sea. <laughs> See what I did there? I crack myself up sometimes. For a main boss, there's not really a bad guy per se in Finding Nemo or Finding Dory, so I think the main baddie would have to either be a Heartless or an original character. Let me ask you guys a serious question. Of all of you who have seen Pixar's 2003 animated classic, Finding Nemo, are there any of you who did not like the film? Well, let me save you the trouble of answering. The answer is no. You loved the film. Everybody loves this film. This is one of Pixar's crowning achievements, and for a studio who has brought us other gems like Up, Toy Story, and The Incredibles, that's saying something. 
That being said, I think the story of Finding Nemo would be a fun one to recreate in a Kingdom Hearts setting. You help Marlin and Dory swim around the ocean in various adventures to help find Marlin's lost son, who may or may not have been captured by Heartless. As for the Finding Dory side of things, it would just be the other way around, but maybe Hank instead of Marlin. Of everything, I know two things for certain. Bruce the Shark would have to be a boss if this world exists in KH3, and it would be a replacement of Atlantica. I think it's worth it to give it a shot. Also, I can totally see some sort of mini-game involving the Moonfish, and most definitely a mini-game involving Crush and Squirt. Those guys are the real stars of the movie, let's face it. Number 4, Toy Story World. For an extra party member, Buzz Lightyear might be more of the obvious choice, but I would love to have Woody fight by my side. For a close change, obviously Sora, Donald, and Goofy would be turned into toys. Wouldn't that be fun? As for a main boss, this one is kind of tricky. All three Toy Story films have very distinct villains, from Sid to the Prospector to Lotso. If they pick from the three to be the world's representative bad guy, I'm leaning towards Lotso. He just seems the better fit, and he's from the most recent film. However, if Buzz is in your party, I could definitely see Zerg being the main bad guy. Honestly, I can even see them using a Heartless or an original character as the main boss. It's about time we had a Toy Story world, honestly. It is arguably the most popular animated film franchise of all time, and it's right there at Disney's disposal. It needs to happen. I've seen a Toy Story world on more lists about cage worlds we want to see than I can count. I strongly believe that if Square doesn't include a Toy Story world, it would be a terribly missed opportunity. This game can offer an even more in-depth look at the world through a toy's eye than the film ever could with its interactive capabilities. This world has the potential to exhibit some great creativity from the developer's part. I think it would be I think it would be really cool to be able to visit memorable places from each film like Pizza Planet from Toy Story, Owl's Toy Barn or the Airport from Toy Story 2, and the Daycare from Toy Story 3. Whatever Square does, they really should include a Toy Story world. Given all the potential the world has, I believe it can turn out to be one of the most fun worlds in the Kingdom Hearts universe. And oh my, mini game possibilities galore. Racing on Bullseye, playing games with the toys, trying to see how many aliens you can rescue with the claw. There are tons of really fun possibilities. This is a gold mine. Get on it, Square. Number 3, Wreck-It Ralph World. For an extra party member, of course you'd have a main man, Wreck-It Ralph. As for an outfit change, there probably will be none. For main boss, you'd have King Candy slash Turbo. You guys don't even know how badly I want this to be a playable world. To me, it is a no-brainer. I have zero doubt in my mind that it could make for a fantastic world to visit and play through. I think it would be incredibly fun to be able to travel from different games, from the pixelated platform Fix-It Felix Jr. to the epic shooter Hero's Duty to the sickeningly sweet Sugar Rush. It would certainly make this world one of the most unique of the worlds previously seen in Kingdom Hearts. But to stay away from any possible copyrighted material, we might just have to stay in Sugar Rush, which is fine by me. Sugar Rush is fast-paced, bright, and colorful, already making it a fun world just to look at. The candy theme lends itself to some pretty fun, creative, and slightly creepy Heartless. The fact that the world is already a video game makes things a bit easier. You already have a boss planted in King Candy. Not only is he an admirable foe, but like many bosses in Kingdom Hearts, he has multiple forms. First you fight the silly King Candy, then he transforms into the much more powerful Turbo. Gosh darn, this world would be so much fun. It reminds me of the Tron worlds from KH2 and Dream Drop Distance, but more colorful and actually exciting. It's like a game inside of a game inside of a game. Whoa, video gameception. Also being that it is based already off of a video game world, the minigame possibilities are endless. Why not utilize the actual gameplay in Sugar Rush and have a mini car racing game as a minigame? It's so obvious! I can also see using Vanellope's glitches to our advantage as an ability, or maybe even an advancement of the Thunder spell. Number 2 Star Wars World for an extra party member, preferably Luke Skywalker, but Rey would be awesome too. For close change, OMG, Sora, Donald, and Goofy would toads dress up like Padawans. As a main boss, Darth Vader perhaps? Okay, I know, a lot of people are really on the fence about having a Star Wars world in Kingdom Hearts 3. Some people outright hate it, and quite a few think it would be the awesomest thing in the whole planet for Sora to travel a long time ago in a galaxy far away. In the case of both Marvel and Star Wars, a lot of people much prefer the Cage creators to choose exclusively from the Disney canon. Well, that ship already sailed when they had the awesomely awesome Nightmare Before Christmas worlds. But I can see how some people can think it would be selling out. However, I am definitely in that camp who think it would be awesome to see a Star Wars-inspired world. 
While I think it might be difficult for Nobara and his crew to try to condense the massively dense Star Wars mythos into a single world, if they do it right, it could be the coolest world we have ever seen in a Kingdom Hearts game. My question is, which film series will they choose from? The original trilogy, the prequels, the cartoon series, or the new films kicked off with The Force Awakens? I'd prefer the original trilogy as it's most iconic, but it would be a good way for Disney, Lucasfilms, and Square to cross-promote. This world not only would look gorgeous, but there is so much creativity and awesomeness to work with. I just know the developers can do something really special with it. However, it could be just too big to handle. But two words. Lightsaber, Keyblade. That is all. And number one, everybody saw this coming, Frozen World. For a party member, while everybody wants Elsa to be in your party, Anna would probably make more sense. For clothes change, probably none, but it would be cute for Sora and the gang to be dressed in winter-type clothes. For a main boss, possibly Hans, or maybe even an original boss. Heck, I can even see Elsa being a boss too. Let's be honest, the developers would be foolish if they didn't include a Frozen World in Cage 3. Foolish, I say. Everybody freaking loves Frozen, including me. Though only a few years old, the film is quickly becoming a Disney classic in its own right and is also the highest grossing animated film of all time. This needs to be a world square. If it's not, you're missing a huge opportunity here. Not only would this world look absolutely breathtaking with the new PS4 graphics, but it would be a really creative world to explore. The magical possibilities make for some really neat ice-centric Heartless. I can even see Hans or even Elsa being tempted by the members of Organization 13 to using their powers and influence to the organization bidding. Elsa, of course, would be redeemed. Hans, not so much. Freaking hate that guy. I personally think it might be more interesting having Elsa as the villain as she was originally intended to be as such, but it would make this world unique in that the villain is completely redeemed in the end, rather than destroyed or brought to justice. The emotional tie between Anna and Elsa needs to be a focal point in the world, just like it is in the movie, thus making the characters and their motivations not only relatable, but also compelling. If done right, and I think it could be done right, this could be one of the most emotionally compelling Disney-inspired worlds in the Cage franchise. This needs to happen, Square, and I can almost guarantee you that it will in some shape or form. Obviously, this would be the place to learn or upgrade your Blizzard spells. I can also imagine the Keyblade looking all icy and cool and epic, with a cheesy name like Sisterly Love or something. I think it will be adorably awesome if Olaf becomes a summon. What he'll do? I don't know, but I want it to happen. Maybe he can make the Heartless laugh to death. I don't know. Well, there you have it. Those are my top 15 worlds I most want to see in Kingdom Hearts 3. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please make sure to subscribe for more Disney Kingdom Hearts and nerdy content. Thanks for watching.